Hello, welcome. Still just letting people in. All right. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of Zoom etiquette. Welcome to the Oak Tree budget ratification for 2021. And I just wanted to remind everyone to make sure that you are on mute um, so that we don't have any distractions. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a little, looks like an old timey microphone. And if you click on that, it will mute you. Um, you have the choice if you want to be on video or not on video. So right next to that little old-timey microphone is a camera. So you can click on that if you don't want to be on video. We are recording, and I will be posting to the portal by Friday this recorded meeting. In case you want to watch it again or if some of your neighbors were unable to attend, then they can go ahead and watch that. So I think I've got everybody in so far. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn it over to our board. Our board is here, uh, Karen Erickson and Jennifer Mahaffey. All right, I'll go ahead and, because I'll speak on behalf of Karen and I. <laughs> go ahead and call the meeting to order at 4.04. And for those that may be new today, once again, I'm Jennifer Mahaffey. I'm with Taylor Morrison. I am on the builder side of HOA management. And then I have my esteemed colleague, Karen Erickson. She is our risk manager at Taylor, Taylor Morrison. She's also on the board as well as uh, another Taylor Morrison um, colleague. And then we have Christina. I don't know where she's on your screen, but she's like in the upper left-hand corner, like the Brady Bunch. Christina Peterson with Nova, she's vice president. And then Hi everyone. Yeah, and then Deke Turner, who is president of the Washington Division for Nova. He's in the middle of my screen. So he just waved. And then we have our esteemed association manager, Don. Uh, Don Wood. I think everyone's probably met Don on some level or some capacity. I don't see any new faces really today. So great. So today should be pretty short and sweet. Um, yeah, I guess the manager's report is our introductions. And so um, essentially by having this meeting, we are um, ratifying our 2021 budget, which uh, all of you should have received your formal mailer of the proposed 2021 budget. And um, I guess at this point in time, um, since we do not have 51% of the ownership present to vote it down, it is accepted and ratified. So I guess at this point, um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to send Dawn a message or um, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask away. Okay, I'll unmute myself. Um, <laughs> did uh, anybody on the board have any concerns uh, with the budget? Uh, is, does it look like we're um, banking more money than we would have expected because of the COVID crisis, or is it the other way around? Just give us a quick synopsis about how you feel professionally about uh, where we are uh, based upon what we projected and where we are right now. And just give us a little something. Actually, I'm going to turn part of that question over to where we're projected to deep. That's great, yeah. Okay. So I'm glad you asked that question because I can show, let me share my screen with yeah. you. Right here. Don, can you disable it? Does anyone know how to disable it? Oh, the screen sharing? The, yeah, the sharing. Nick, I made you a host, so you should be able to share your screen. Okay, okay. here we go. All right, it may be a little bit small for you guys, but um, this is a, um, a forecast. I think somebody on the, um, one of the homeowners had this great idea to, to build this forecasting model. Um, was anyone on the call? That did, whose idea was that? I believe know? it was Steve. Steve was one of them. There was okay. a few, but yeah, Steve was one. Okay, 
so it was a great idea. So basically back in April, um, we built this and we, we wanted to, to throw some assumptions in. So we put in like a, a five homes per, per, uh, per month. And um, in looking at uh, back in April, when we, we did the original forecast, it's tracking pretty much, it's, it's within a couple thousand bucks. And so um, I, I don't know, uh, Taylor can tell us if they've been five, averaging five per month or, or not, right around there. So um, with the um, declarant contributions, um, the year end forecast is gonna be pretty close um, to, to zero. Um, there may be a little bit of a deficit, but if you, in building the new budget for next year and looking at the forecast into 2021, um, with those same assumptions, maybe 5.1 homes per, per month, um, you'll uh, basically be breaking even from a cash flow perspective. So from, uh, uh, from that perspective, it's fantastic. Um, and again, this is the, we're showing $5,000 deficit for the year end. And I don't know if, the, if Taylor's going to have another contribution in the next few months, but um, other than that, it is um, fantastic. But Deke, we always cover all shortfalls. So regardless of what that shortfall number is at the end of the year, we'll definitely be covering that um, as well after our year end financials are wrapped up um, for sure. And then um, I, I think just so people are tracking when Deke says five homes, he's saying on average closing of five homes a month. That is the, the, the metric that he's referring to. And then um, to answer the COVID portion, I don't believe we've, we've not had a negative impact from COVID. Um, our sales rate actually out at Oak Tree has been astonishingly significant and consistent. So I don't feel like for us as well, um, we haven't really saved costs, nor have we, we haven't spent less or more. We're kind of just averaging because a lot of our contracts are, our, our expenses are on contracts. So it's a consistent already predictable amount um, we didn't, we can't turn off cable while we're not, the pavilion's not on because the contract doesn't allow us. So those costs remain static throughout the year. So we're, we're kind of just on level. Um, I think maybe we might have spent a little bit more if the pavilion would have been open just for some ancillary things. But other than that, I think we're, we're still on target. Um, pretty much status quo, I guess. Does that answer your question, Steve? Yeah, so Adika, I guess you're uh, sort of a, a spreadsheet geek where a lot of us aren't. Is that about right? Um, I used to think so, but all these young millennials, they come up, but I, they show me these shortcuts. I, I, I need to, I'm old school, so um, a little bit. Well, as far as whether or not I, I, I did this last year or made this suggestion, I live in a 55 and older community, and I can't remember what I did last November. <laughs> so, um, but thanks for the, for the compliment. So the elevator pitch for us, for people who live uh, next to the pavilion, and uh, we get all these looky-loos, and they're always stopping you and asking you what's your opinion of the place. I should, if they ask about the budget, I should say it's a healthy budget with uh, uh, on-target projections year after year, right? Yep. And Deke, you, you being the uh, spreadsheet geek, when you said this is excellent, you're saying compared to a lot of budgets you've seen in your professional life, this one being within five thousand dollars of target is pretty amazing. Well, yeah, it. it I mean, um, the forecasting. It like. I mean, the the COVID was that. That's. It's still. A, you know, it's it's a scare. And right. but um, uh, Taylor has just kind of plowed right through, and um, yeah, sales are, are are strong, and you know, it's working okay. out well. And prospective buyers should uh, feel very confident going into this HOA in that it's uh, strong uh, monetarily. Yeah, how I know that's on the uh, minutes is the association is financially healthy. So if that helps, you, that's usually how it's notated on, on the minutes. Sure, yeah. I, I think a lot of the people you have, the, what, eight or nine homeowners on this meeting that attended mm -hmm. are, are uh, pro-community, pro-growth um, cheerleaders for you guys. And so, uh, when we can communicate to others um, intelligently and confidently about what we're talking about, I think it helps us all. So as long sure. as we can understand what you're trying to portray, it helps uh, all concerned in this meeting. And that's all I have to say. Thanks for explaining. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Stephen.
anyone else have any other questions? To be honest, um, Don received some uh, good feedback about this year's budget packet, and we didn't receive a lot of prior questions, so we're hoping that that was, that was good. So we'll see. Did you have a this question? Is, this is Gary. Um, I do have a question. I'm, not, I'm assuming it's appropriate to this budget, <laughs> and that's the village. I know when we bought in, I assumed the contribution we made was into a, a, some kind of an escrow fund for the village. And if so, where does that stand? And, and is any of the $200 a month also making a contribution towards that? That's my question. Um, currently, your assessment's not contributing to the villages. It's contributing to the reserves for the pavilion because that's currently what exists in the community. Oh. Um, we are currently working with um, Nova and our internal team on addressing the, the contribution that is collected at closing and how it relates and correlates to the villages. So we'll definitely have more information about that coming soon. So, yeah. Right now, it's just sitting in your bank account. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're working on that. So I don't want to say anything until we understand completely what direction that's going in. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, Don has a visitor. <laughs> we like to, to, to bomb. Sorry about that. <laughs> Any other questions? It's okay. Please remember that you can always, if you, you think of something later, you can always email or call me at any time and I would be happy to get an answer for you. Well, we do want to say we wish everyone a nice Thanksgiving holiday, however you choose to spend it. We want everyone to stay safe and healthy, especially in this time where, you know, Numbers are spiking and it's flu season, cold season, so we want everyone to stay healthy. One of these days the pavilion will open. <laughs> One of these days we'll resume normal to some degree, so wish everyone well. Did everyone, did anyone remember to bring their favorite beverage? Oh, <laughs> I, I was like, oh wait, there we water. go. There, there it is. There, water. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right. All right. I saw Don Wilson with something. I couldn't tell if it was water or vodka. Water. <laughs> He's like vodka on the rocks. I got mine. <laughs> was that? I got mine. What is that? It's non-alcoholic beer for us lightweights. Okay. <laughs> it's no good if it's got the cap on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if we don't have any other questions, like Don said, you're more than, uh, more than welcome to reach out to her and we'll address them if you think of something later. But without further ado, I will go ahead and formally adjourn the meeting at 416. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.